Okay, so here is our old Little Tykes um, swing. And the first thing I did is I made sure I took pictures of how everything is set up for the ropes because I didn't want to get the ropes um, <laughs> cut and then have issues figuring out how to um, put it back together with new rope. So what I'm doing is I'm replacing this rope and I'm going to paint um, the plastic as well. Um, I may, I don't know if I'm actually gonna pull this off. I may just clean this uh, strap here. Um, so I'm just gonna repaint and replace the rope. So to start, I'm going to take off these. I made these covers for them to keep the baby from scratching himself on this stuff because this is really icky. Um, I don't know if you guys remember being a kid and um, how scratchy this is. I don't know. I feel like I, I remember that even though it would have been I would have been really young for it. But um, so you can actually just replace the rope instead of buying a whole new one, which you know saves a uh, swing from going into a landfill because these things are pretty sturdy. They're not going anywhere. It'll work for years, and we can pass it down to other family members. It might need eventually a different coat of paint, but you know, this one did too. It looks definitely faded. And um, my husband, this was one from when they were kids. So I'm gonna remove this first. Okay, now that those are removed, I'm gonna flip this over and I wanna cut this wire right here. I don't know if these scissors are gonna quite get it. We'll see. I'm also gonna remove um, these and soak them so that they can get the rust off. I may have to actually cut those off too. The next thing I want to do is I want to remove the rust from this. So this is going to take a while. It needs to soak. I'm going to throw it in a disposable um, container and I'm going to use white vinegar. Now some people might choose to use um, regular vinegar, white vinegar. I am using cleaning vinegar. This is a little bit stronger. Um, it's actually, you have to be kind of careful with it because unlike regular vinegar, it actually has like a safety top and there's a reason for that. This is a lot stronger um, than other stuff. It says to dilute with half cup of cleaning, half, half cup of this with um, half a cup of water or a gallon of water, sorry. I am just going to use it straight, which hopefully won't be a problem. Um, but again, I'm not touching this to clean. Um, I want this to actually like really soak off. So hopefully that'll work. So I'm gonna leave this for a while while I'm working on the rest of my um, the rest of my stuff. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a really good job washing this off. I'm not going to show you that because you probably don't need to see it, but I want to make sure I get all the dirt off and I want to do the same with this piece. Okay, the next step is going to be to do a layer of paint over this. I'm using um, a dark blue for this and I'm going to use uh, let's see, Satin Lagoon for this. This is satin and that's uh, gloss. No particular reason. Um, this is paint and primer. It works pretty well. I haven't found it peels that much. Um, so I'm going to use it. I'll probably have to spray paint it again in a year or two. It's just what it is. Um, I've got a good post if you're interested on um, tips for painting plastic. Um, if you're interested, that's on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to take a picture of this or video this because i got to have my hands free. So. I'm going to paint one side and then let it dry and then I'll flip and do the other side. Um, I may do more than one layer or more, more than likely I'm going to end up doing more than one layer. You have to make it so that you can get the rope through your baby swing. It's very hard to feed it through. So this is what we did. We used duct tape to hold on to the rope and then we added a piece of a wire hanger at the other end and that allowed us to slide it through the holes and feed it through. Okay, so we fed it through the 
front side. You gotta make sure each side is even. So you're gonna pull your one long rope so that you have an even length on each side. Once you've done that, you have to pull through the um, pull through the uh, bar, and then you add your S hooks. Again, you need to make sure the rope is even on both sides. So here we are, we have our S hook. And we're just gonna pull it through there. Now we're gonna feed through each end, through each um, back side. A hanger really helps you get it through. Um, I tried it without a hanger. Now, once you get it here, mm -hmm. these overlap like that. And you're supposed to put two brackets on. Can we go check the height first? So we brought it out to the swing set and hung it up first before we did this. And then we figured out where we wanted to place those. We had to make sure it was even first. Once we figured out where it would be to make it even, we went ahead and added these to the very bottom. And you're just pinching them over it. These are uh, rope clamps. But I got, they were actually on Amazon, which was convenient. Um, the list of supplies, by the way, is on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. So here we are, we're just gonna squeeze these on. Once we squeeze these on, um, and again, we've already made sure it's fairly even, so the swing won't be crooked, but we'll hang it up again and add the clamps to the top. The other thing we're going to want to do is we'll cut off any excess rope and we will burn the edges so that the rope doesn't fray. So it just melts the edges a little. Um, otherwise they fray and they do fall apart. Okay, here we are. We're adding the, um, the last clamps. We're going to do that to each side underneath the S hook. And again, you before you add the top clamp, you need to make sure you've got the um, they're even when you do this. And we're finished. And baby's happy. We added, I added my um, covers back on. The rope's actually nice and soft, but I like the covers. So that's all there is to it. Make sure you read more about the post on DIYDanielle.com. Have a great day.